New Caney High School journalism teacher Jim Becca here talking about how to use a video cam. Had a student come to me a few years ago and want to shoot some video and he never had any formal training but he claimed he had a lot of experience shooting holiday video. Now we were in a bind that day because we had a story coming out so I handed him the video cam against my better judgment because there's a learning curve associated with shooting video. Students never produce good video the first time. But this is what he came up with. These are random camera shots that are not usable. When you shoot video for broadcast, you must begin recording and hold the camera steady. As you can see, this video is not usable for a television broadcast. Now this is how it should be done. You start recording and leave the camera in the same position for at least seven seconds. Now if you want to do a pan, which is a lateral um, horizontal type movement, you do the same, you use the same principle. Seven seconds of video from the time that you begin the pan to the time you end the pan. Now, of course, you can go over that. That's okay. T uh, too much is okay. Too little is not okay. And think about things like the rule of thirds, which is taught in still photography. It applies to video as well. With your subject off center in the lower left or right hand side of your camera frame. So keep in mind, whenever you shoot video, you want all your shots to be smooth. And from the time that you start recording, you need video clips that are at least 7 seconds in length, but without a lot of camera movement. That means no zoom in, zoom outs, pans left, up and down, all over the place. It's got to be seven seconds of steady video. Also, it's best to use a tripod or monopod to steady your camera. And I didn't mention it before, but avoid shooting in the directions of windows or light because they'll turn your subjects into silhouettes.